Well, the topic of the summer, I guess, at least till football starts, Rick Bozich is going to be conference realignment again. What is this, 3.0, 2.0, I've lost track. <laughs> the question of the day, we've talked about UCLA and USC moving to the Big Ten. We've talked about possible moves that the Big 12 might make. What can the ACC do at this point? Eric, and when you're in a world where Stanford, Stanford, the best overall athletic program in the country, is scrambling for a place, I'm not sure what it can do. The best thing it can do is uh, call in its legal team and reinforce uh, the, the rights agreement they have uh, for their TV rights so nobody can leave, I think, until 2036 without a huge financial penalty. Keep encouraging Notre Dame to stay part of the group, even though the Big Ten's trying to pull them away. And if you're looking to add somebody, I'd like to see them consider Cincinnati and West Virginia, maybe even TCU to bring that Dallas market in. Yeah, I, I think it's a case, and this is not going to be a popular opinion, but it's kind of what you said. I think it's time to circle the wagons a little bit. Uh, job number one is keeping Notre Dame, if you can, whether for football or not. I think that football independence is still a big thing for Notre Dame. Let them keep that and try and keep them aligned with your league otherwise. Other than that, circle the wagons. You know, the problem with opening the door to let somebody in is that somebody may jump out while the door is open. So I don't know how feasible that is, but you're right. Cincinnati and West Virginia, I would look at. Central Florida, I would look at if, if you're looking to add. Otherwise, shore yourself up, keep yourself strong, and hope that times change and the whole scenario changes again and landscape changes and maybe you're still together when that happens. I've got a column about it. You're writing about it. We're all over it at WDRB.com. Go there and click on sports.